for this presentation, I will briefly show a Western Electric 10A and a 20A charge a call telephone. These were coinless telephones that was an alternative to installing a conventional payphone in a location that it was too costly for the phone company to maintain as in collecting the coins out of a phone or connected to um, lines that did not have the ability for coin control such as um, putting uh, phone service over wireless radio links. So these were connected to an ESS office only. They did not make these in rotary dial. So these phones were not that common. I've seen them used at what was called toll stations where there was multiple people on a wireless radio link and they would have a charge of call in, on that link kind of like a multi-party phone line. I've also seen these at rest stops and other areas that was just so incredibly remote that a traditional payphone was not a wise use. The one we're looking at is a Model 10A and then I will show a panel version which is called a 20A. This has a standard coin phone handset, standard coin phone dial, it's in a metal housing. They have no lock on this particular one. They did make one that had a key lock on the side, I've seen those. But this one here just used a spatial screwdriver that has a high security screw that uh, attaches that to the back plate. This is the rear of the 10A. This is just the equivalent to a single line 2500 type telephone in a steel enclosure. This particular one was made the first quarter of 1983, one year before the breakup of the Bell system. Here is the 20A. This is the phone that would mount in a wall mounted enclosure or in a multi phone type of a kiosk. It is the same exact type of a phone electrically as the 10A. It's just inside of a stainless steel cabinet. The 10A and 20A required a telephone line from some type of an ESS office that could be programmed to only allow calls to be completed through to such as the operator emergency services, possibly directory assistance depending on the state that it was located in, and toll-free numbers. At the time that this phone was in service, there was only 800 service available. There was no provision for any type of coin service. If you did call the operator, they did know from the class of service on the phone line that you were making a call from a coin line even though you can't put a coin in the phone but they would be able to put the calls through as credit card calls collect calls and so forth i'll open the inside of the phone up so you can see what it looks like on the rear so i have the phone open and I will zoom in on the rear of the actual telephone components in a moment. This is the same mounting that was used for the panel payphone, which was called the 2C1 or 2C2 series. 